What's up you guys, Hero276 here, and welcome to today's video. Today we are running Mantine, double ground. So Mantine running wing attack, aerial lace, and ice beam. Uh, we have um, sand slash running mud shot, earthquake, and rock tomb. And finally, uh, diggers B with mud shot, fire punch, and earthquake. We pick up a lead against the hypno, and we swap in the sand slash to catch the thunder punch. Uh, and they counter swap a Politoed, which is pretty deadly. Uh, so I'm going to debuff it with the Rock Tomb. As you know, Rock Tomb just got a minus one attack to your opponent, 100% guaranteed. So that's why I'm trying out Sand Slash, and unfortunately, it does go down to a Blizzard. Um, so very well played by my opponent, recognizing that a Weather Ball would not KO. So, fortunately though, we have the Mantine to soak the damage. So, Aerial Ace is going to come through and they're going to shield it. We CMP on the move, and because I think this is a Blizzard, I actually want to preserve some health. So, I'm going to shield the Blizzard right there. And we CMP on an Aerial Ace, but I'm going to undercharge. So I can get some extra farm in. But they actually counter swap with the Hypno, and I'm going to swap into my Digger's Bay. Uh, we see some mutual lag here, but if this Hypno is running the traditional moveset, it has Thunder Punch and Shadow Ball, both of which are resistant. I'm calling the Thunder Punch, and it is the Thunder Punch, which is really nice. We're going for the Earthquake, no baiting needed. They shield the Earthquake. We sneak in a Mud Shot through, which is very nice. I'm once again going to call that this is just a Thunder Punch, and it is, which leads me to believe that they are running Thunder Punch and Shadow Ball. So I'm going to go for the Earthquake right here, but I over farm too much. Nonetheless, it's probably just going to be a Thunder Punch, which it is. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. We CMP, and this should do... Oh my god, it doesn't take it out. So they swap in in a Lolan Muck, but this is a commanding matchup for Diggers B. And yeah, that Earthquake just one-shots right there. So now we're going to come in with the Mantine and just wing attack down both of the remaining Pokemon since they're on pretty low health. Even if the Hypno got to a Thunder Punch, we had a shield, so that was good game regardless. Um, very well played to my opponent. Let's jump right into the next one. Alright, let's see it. Mantine into Blast Toys. This one's not bad for us. Water Guns are resisted and our wing attacks are doing neutral. Uh, and Hydro Cannon is also resisted where Ice Beam does neutral. So, that's pretty okay for us. We're going to go ahead and throw the Aerial Ace, and that does some solid chip damage right there. Blastoise is about half health right here, whereas we're just above half health. Maybe 5 eighths, I'd say. They get to a move, and I shield it, and it is the Ice Beam, so I'll consider that a decent shield. Would have done quite a bit of damage to the Mantine, and I want to preserve some health since I have two ground types in the back. So, I'm going to try to farm up to the Aerial Ace, but they get to another move. I try to call here, but it is the Ice Beam, which is quite unfortunate, and the Invisible Water Gun kills me. So, I have to come in with some ground type and hope to farm all the way down, and Diggers B farms all the way down, and we're having plenty of health to spare, and they come in with Greninja, and this is pretty bad. Uh, so, I'm going to bait here with the Fire Punch and see if I can get a shield. And we get the shield. The opponent's shieldless, and we throw an Earthquake. And this is going to take out the Greninja because it is so glassy, even though it's dealing neutral damage. And they have a Crustle in the back, so it was very good that we baited right there. Um, it's like Rise to the occasion says, Always, sometimes, usually, never, 50% of the time, somewhat bait uh, that was a uh, longer ramble than i should have um but anyways we bring in the sand slash just because we're featuring it uh we're gonna get to the rock tomb but we lose cmp so this will take out the crustle for sure that's a uh, good game right there the opponent was done for uh so gg very well played let's hop right into the next battle and speaking of you guys i am trying out a new screen recorder so you guys let me know in the comments section below how the quality compares to my old one. I personally like it better, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Anyways, we come in to a lead against a Drift Limb that's running Astonish, so that's really good for us. Um, 
Icy Wind is going to debuff me here before I get to the Ice Beam, which is unfortunate, but usually Drift Blends like to shield super effective moves anyways. But they make an excellent catch onto a Greninja, and that is so bad for me, because now I'm out of energy, and they have two counters to ground types. I let the Night Slash go through, seeing as it doesn't take me out, and they can't bubble me down. So, I'm going to go for an Aerial Ace right here. They let it go through, and at this rate, I'm going to Wing Attack down and Shield once to help preserve alignment, as I'm pretty much going to need that. And I'm totally fine going down a shield if it means I win switch. Now, they come in with Venomoth, and I swap in one of my ground types in Sand Slash. The great thing about this matchup is Rock Tomb is super effective, and we resist poison moves. So, I'm going to let this go through thinking that it's going to be a poison move, but it's actually the Bug Buzz. And that's so bad for me because they sneak a confusion in. Now I have to come in with Mantine and throw the Aerial Ace and hope that they don't shield. But they shield. And that's so bad for me. I have to come in with Diggersby since it's my only remaining Pokemon and Diggersby's going to have to carry. Venomoth gets to a move but I can't shield it as an Icy Wind from Drift Blim would be more threatening than any move from Venomoth. I get to the back to back fire punches and this one's going to KO the Venomoth. And the second one I've reserved because I know that the Drift Blim is dry on energy, so I can throw this one before I'm debuffed. Now I'm going to try to build to another one before I can get debuffed, and I'm able to do it because Astonish is just such a bad move. This is why you run Hex, ladies and gentlemen. I try to build up to the next Fire Punch, and this is why I saved the shield, ladies and gentlemen. Because an Icy Wind that comes from an attack-weighted Pokemon and dealing super effective damage is more threatening than any move from that Venomoth. Fire Punch, even though it's debuffed, will KO the Drift Blim because it has such low health. And that is going to be a good game to my opponent. Very well played. Let's see what we lead here in this next game. Hitmonchan. That's actually pretty positive for me. I do have to be wary of the Thunder Punches though. So, they get to one right here, and I'm, of course, going to have to shield this, as Thunder Punch would come very close to, if not, KOing. So, I'm going to just basically wing attack all the way down, since I'm going to be able to do that, and I'll leave with a ton of energy for whatever's in back. So, Mantine, about at half health, with tons of energy, and in comes a Dragonite. So, I'm going to throw the Aerial Ace first. That gets the shield, and I'm going to go for the Ice Beam, hoping that they don't shield. But unfortunately, the Dragonite also double shields, and that's pretty bad. So I'm going to farm up a little bit of energy, but unfortunately, the Dragonite gets to a move before I can. Dragon Claw's going to KO, and I'm going to come in Sand Slash, try to count, and I Sack Swap onto the Digger's B, since that Dragon Claw would do less damage on the Diggers Bay. So I'm going to try to go for the Earthquake since I might only be able to reach one move. So can I get there? I can get to the Earthquake, but it probably could have reached two Fire Punches, which would have done more damage. So that's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I definitely would have been able to reach two Fire Punches. Dragonite unfortunately gets to a move, and this is horrible for me, as Dragon Claw will nearly KO, and even though Rock Tomb does super effective damage, and will take out the Dragonite, they still have a whole other Pokemon in the back, and it's a Charmer. So, top left, GG, I don't want to see that in the back line. <laughs> Sand Slash does not like Charmers, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's hop right into the next game. Let's see what type of lead we're going to get this time. Mantine into Wigglytuff. Our whole team really doesn't like Charm. We don't have a great response to Charmers in the back. Uh, so we're just kind of forced to stay in here. We're going to throw an Aerial Ace. And the Wigglytuff shields it. Shocker. So we're going to try to get to another one. Oh, we bank the Aerial Ace and come in with the Sand Slash. Alright. Um, we're going to shield the Ice Beam. Uh, just kind of the mirror shields. 
and I'm going to try to build to the earthquake and bait with the rock tomb so that way they can lower the charm since I'm having the feeling that they're going to shield it. And they do. What a surprise. So now the charms are dealing less damage and we get to the rock tomb. This is going to double debuff the charms uh, and maybe even KO. Does it? Oh, they've had one HP but we sneak a mud shot through. Um, so now we have some residual energy and they come in with a Mawile. They fire fang me down, but I do have a second ground type, so I'm going to come in with Diggers B. They swap Machamp, but remembering that I have stored energy on the Mantine, I'm going to throw the Aerial Ace on to the Machamp. And now I'm very glad that I won Switch, because now I can just preserve alignment. The Machamp decides to throw a Cross Chop, but remembering that I do have a shield, I'm going to shield to preserve the alignment. We wing attack down the Machamp, we're almost at a move, and I plan to throw it onto the Mawile, but they throw first. So I'm totally fine with this because now they're going to be energy dry up against my Diggersby. And I'm ahead on energy, so I get to the Earthquake before they can even throw the next power-up punch. Boom! Earthquake KOs, and that is going to be a good game, very well played to my opponent. As you can see, Switch is so important with this team, especially when Mantine is alive with one or more ground types in the back. We pick up a beautiful lead against the Beedrill in this game. Beedrill is a fantastic lead, all charge moves are resisted, and wing attacks and aerial aces are doing super effective. Like I said, all moves are resisted so we can safely let this one go through. And I'm going to get to the aerial ace, and we get a little bit of lag, but the aerial ace still KOs. They come in with Shiftry, and that is not by any means a Mantine response. So. Their whole team is probably weak to Mantine. We sneak a wing attack through, which is great for me. We're going to shield the Leaf Blade, uh, so that way I can just preserve some alignment here. And they get to another move before I can get to the Aerial Ace, but since I committed one shield and didn't get to a move, I might as well commit both. We're going to swap into the Diggers Bee, recognizing that they are in Fire Punch range. So we're just going to let this move go through. And it's a foul play, which is really great for me, because they went for the wrong move. Fire Punch should get the final shield. Okay, no, they decide to let it go through, and they have Machamp in the back. So, this is great for me. Unfortunately, I overtap. Instead of throwing the Fire Punch on 4, I lose CMP and go down with a Fire Punch loaded. That's very unfortunate. So, my play is I'm going to come up with the Sand Slash. Um estimate that the cross chop will not KO and I'll be able to get to the earthquake because I snuck in the mud shot how awesome so this should be getting the final shield and now that my switch timers up I can come in with the mantine and snipe with the aerial ace good game to my opponent very well played let's hop right into our final battle alrighty guys final one what do you think we're gonna get on the lead, do we win? Do we lose? I don't know. Mantine into Snorlax. Not great. Uh, I'm gonna try to swap in um, something else later on so that way I can preserve some health on the Mantine because I don't want my Mantine going down with two ground types in the back. So I'm gonna throw the Aerial Ace just for some chip damage. Maybe I'll get a shield out of this. Who knows? Okay, they let it go through. So, I'm going to try to catch on to the Diggersby. Uh, and this is a good matchup for Diggersby, just because the Licks are double resisted. So, um, everything else that we're doing is neutral. So, we're going to go for the Fire Punch right here. Look to do a little bit of chip damage. And that's perfectly fine. I'm going to try to work to Mudshot all the way down. I don't need to shield this next Body Slam, because the Licks are just not threatening. Can we Mudshot all the way down? We do much shot all the way down. Okay, that's great. So now we have a ton of energy for this Drapion that comes in, and we're not messing around. We're going straight Earthquake, and it's shielded. So I'm going to build up to the next Earthquake, uh, and I recognize that this Drapion's running Bite, so I probably won't be able to get to the next one. Uh, so I have to settle for a Fire Punch instead. And this time, I do throw at the right time. Fire Punch should do some nice chip damage. Very nice. And here's the great thing. I have a whole other ground type in the back. 
That's awesome for me. And they have Clefable. I don't know why they didn't come up with their Charmer against my Diggersby. That would have been a better matchup. But anyways, we'll be able to EQ the living crap out of this Charmer. We Simul KO, but we have two shields up against a no shield Drapion. And that's a good game before it even ended. Shield this, just a Sludge Bomb, and we get much shot down. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.